Oh. Hey guys, my name is Keegan. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. It's really nice to have you here. Now, Adobe just released a brand new feature in Adobe Lightroom Classic CC called color grading. And with it, you can turn an image like this into a shot like this. Damn. Now that is some powerful stuff. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this in this video. Now there's a couple reasons why you'd wanna use the color grading panel. First, maybe you wanna give your image a specific look, like a cold look, a warm look, sunset look, which is what we're gonna do here, a psychedelic look, whatever you want. And then another reason you'd wanna use it is because you wanna make your Instagram grid, say, very cohesive, and you want all your images to have, you know, the same color palette. And you could do this with the color grading panel. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can save color grading presets and use them on all of your images to get that cohesive Instagram grid look. Okay, let's edit this photo. Okay, so this image was taken in New Zealand, probably one of the most gorgeous sunsets I've ever witnessed. I am not lying about that. Look at these like sheep. <laughs> we got a little fluffy sheep and cows on the hills. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the color grading panel. Now, I have a color grade here, but I'm gonna reset that completely reset it. We're going to do it from scratch. We look at this image, the sky is washy, the colors aren't too vibrant, but we can fix that. So what I want to do is make the sky more colorful, more vibrant, more blue. And I want to give these hills some orange, yellowish sunset vibes. So first, let's focus on the highlights. We're going to focus on the sky. If we look over here in the color grading panel, we have a shadows, midtones, and a highlights color wheel, whatever you want to call this thing. And we're going to set the sky to the color we want. And I want it to be blue. I'm going to click and I'm also going to hold option on my keyboard or alt on a uh, windows. It makes that little circle thingy move slower. So you have more fine tuned control. So I'm going to drag that towards the blue and let's say, yeah, right about here. Yeah. I like that. So this is kind of the blue we're going to go for in this image. So a nice blue sky. Now, the next thing we're going to do is use the balance slider to make it so our highlight adjustment is only affecting the sky. If we push the balance slider up, you'll see that the highlight adjustment is starting to affect the shadows way too much. If we drop it, we'll see that the highlight adjustment is only affecting the sky, right? So I'm going to drop the balance down to probably about, you know, let's say like 52 here. You can also use this eye right here in the corner to see the before and after. If we keep clicking it over and over again, we can see that the sky is changing a lot, but then the hills aren't changing too much, so that's what we want. Now we're going to work on the hills to give them that sunset vibe we're going for. So let's just set the shadows by eye, something that we like. Yeah, this is good for now. I like that. Now we're going to set the mids by eye, and uh, we'll go by, we'll go something like this. So now our shadows and our midtones are turning more orange. Okay, we're getting closer to our final look here. We can also change the luminosity or brightness of each setting we made. So I'm just gonna raise up the brightness of the mids to uh, let's say like plus 15 or so like that because I find it's adding some contrast. Now finally we have this blending slider. Now what does this do? It's sometimes really hard to see the effect that it's having. So if we push it to 100, we'll see that the blue hue of the highlights bleed into the hills a little bit. See, the hills are turning a little bit blue. So why would we ever push the blending? Well, you can create a more even color tone across the entire shot by doing that. But if we drop it, we'll see that there's much more separation between our color adjustments. So now the hills are turning less blue and the highlights are turning less orange. I'm gonna leave it about, let's say, 26 like that. So that's it guys, with this, we just turned like a washy, bland photo into something really captivating. As you can see, it is a really powerful tool. Thank you so much guys for watching this far into the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. That really helps us small creators grow, get a boost in search rankings, and uh, hit that subscribe button because I'm making videos like this, photography videos, photography gear, video gear, all that fun stuff that we, we love to watch. All right, on to the next shot. Now let's try and do something a little more subtle with the grading panel on this image. This was also shot in New Zealand, a place called Piha Beach. Oh, also one of the most beautiful beaches I've been New Zealand has the most beautiful everything, literally. So this is edited a little bit, but right now this edit isn't so bad, but we're just gonna do a subtle grade to enhance the colors. Let's see what happens when we change the highlights. All of a sudden the clouds are changing colors and it just looks bad so we're not going to touch this highlight color wheel so this time to get even more control i'm going to zoom into this mid-tone wheel by clicking the gray circle right up on top here i'm going to set the sand and the rock to the look that i want 
So let's push the mid-tones. Yeah, 44 is good. I kind of like this color, this orange. So I'm going to hold shift and now I can just slide the saturation and the color, the hue is going to stay the same. So let's set this to uh, 66. Now let's adjust the balance and take a closer look at what this balance slider does. Watch, if I lower the balance, it makes the midtones affect the sky a lot more, AKA the highlights. Now we can see the clouds are turning orange or brown. If I raise the balance, it makes the midtones affect the shadows of the image more. See, now the sky is not being touched by that orange that we set. The ground and the shadows are all turning orange. And this is what we want. Now I'm gonna to toggle the eye and we can see the difference that we've got here. See that? It looks great now actually, but now I find there's a bit too much warmth down in the shadows. So I'm gonna to jump to the shadows wheel and you know, to get rid of warmth, we want to slide the hue towards blue. Just a tiny bit of blues in the shadows. It's hard to see, but it helps. Look, off, on. It's turning the shadows into more of a neutral black. So that's everything for this shot. As you saw, we can also do very subtle changes with the grading panel. We don't have to always go to the extremes with images. Okay, as promised, here's how to save your grades as presets and then use the presets on all of your images to give that Instagram a cohesive look. So let's say you love a color grade that you made on an image and you want to apply it to more of your photos. You can save only the color grade as a preset and it can ignore all the basic adjustments, the tone curve and everything. Those edits will stay the same. So it's super easy to do. All you're gonna do is click the plus button on the left here next to presets. Here, press create preset. Let's make a new group called color grades. And we're gonna name this one Sunset because that's kind of what we did to this shot. Then press the check none button on the bottom here and we're gonna select both process version, we're gonna leave that on, and color grading. I'm gonna click create. Now on the side here, under presets, we have the color grade folder and our new sunset grade. Now if we go to any image, we can apply the sunset grade to it. So if I click sunset, bam, we got a nice sunset vibe on this shot. This one was taken in San Francisco. So let's hit sunset grade and not bad. It's, it's, it's kind of hitting it too hard, I find. So let's just hold shift and just reduce the saturation of the midtones and the shadows. And now we have, here's the difference. Look, check it out. Off, on. So we made it look like it was taken during the sunset. There we go. All right, one more, one more. Let's try it. Sunset, boom. Yeah, not bad already. This was cool. This, by the way, was shot in Nevada. Can you tell I miss traveling? <laughs> so there we have it. Color grading in Lightroom. I personally never really use the split toning panel that often, but now that it's more powerful, I think I'm going to start color grading all of my images from now on. So anyways, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe, comment down below, anything, comment, whatever's on your mind at this very moment. I'd love to hear it. Uh, other than that, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the flip side.